on the subject of how you how, how you how you call it discern, but how do you how do you know uh, certain things from other certain things? Well, basically, it's called reductionism, and what you do is you keep doing experiments and writing them down, and at some point you get quite a decent picture. Some things what before. We're more varied in the possibilities, so you, 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 you're pinning it down and you're pinning it down. <clears throat> so with genetics, we understand that the fruit fly is very good to observe. And by like turning genes on and off, you can change all sorts of behavioural patterns and you can do it with hamsters and they've done it test, 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 test people have watched chimpanzees in the jungle for 20 years you know, test, 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 test you know, and it goes on and on and on forever but Are the cleverly placed professors in universities all over the planet? I don't know. I know some people would say there are. I don't know about that. A lot of times when you think someone's talking shit, a lot of times. Because you're not in that field, are you? You know, I have to take my hats off. Like a surfer did a video and he's showing like Elon Musk like done it, the latest it was a massive load of water and it took off and landed. <laughs> There's all these explanations out of fake. But someone had took a, a separate video of it and they showed it go up and land and you could hear the power in it and it's like oh the, the earth is shaking. Well that doesn't mean shit. Because the second video is just as easy to set up as the first, and how many? Surely there'd be a lot more. A bit like when uh, "You Shall Not Be Named" got beheaded in London. You know, there was only one dodgy recording on a mobile phone. I think it would be other sides to do, but the police will stop all this going up immediately. But that is possibly true. You know, but surely someone would be talking about it. Someone would be on the, t on, on the internet saying, fuck your ass, isn't it? Yeah, they cut his head off in the middle of the street. It's not a report of it. All very bizarre. And so... With reductionism, you can sort of like deduct that not everything that they try and throw down your neck is exactly as it seems. You don't want to offend people. You don't know to what level it's true to them. Even, you know, basically like the... You don't know what was behind someone doing something. You know, it could have been the correct sort of programming, couldn't it? And then... Boom. So it's very tricky. There was a weird one on that. Uh, well, there were lots of weird ones on that Australian shooting, weren't there? That was all very strange. And then they closed it down, all very strange. I'd have seen that as a, an operation. You know. If you uploaded the video, you could go to prison in Australia, shit like that. It's all very weird. Blast from the past this evening, there. Uh, I'll upload a sister seed tomorrow. I found an app that'll do it. It does it fast as well. 
Eight and a half thousand views that John, John Harris video got. Ten ups, ten downs. But eight and a half thousand people watched it. You know. And then people said, oh, he was murdered. Well, apparently not. But there you go. Um, He'd been tried to do himself over a few times. And his cousin said, apparently. I'd only read it in the comment, but it looked genuine to fuck, if you know what I mean. Because uh, he got into this bullshit. He got in with them devils. Then he turned against them. What, he got fucking killed himself? Do you understand this? The fear being under the wing of David Icke, Brian Jewish, made the man top himself. Especially when he realised what they all were. This makes you wonder about people, doesn't it? When they're like under the wings of certain people, they're obviously very, very bad men, and they all of a sudden come out and attack them. Very strange. Uh, yeah. I did leave a message on Brian's uh, live thing. I said, what about the kids in the red room? He did mention it, I was quite surprised, and then he had to close the video down shortly after that. He said the world's gone to shit because of people. Well, it's always been shit while you've been alive then, hasn't it? Because you can fucking ignore two kids when it doesn't look right to you. Boom, boom, boom. And if you shit, then you shit now. Then you're saying your mate's on a pork fucking pie. Well, mate, I thought you was a Christian. Not a pork in the house, mate. You're a Christian. But no matter. So there you go. I don't trust the cunt. Sorry, mate. They always give you your heroes. Fucking hell, that, that dodgy cunt who's interviewing him on his on his video, the bald guy, who's apparently from Oldham. He's there, like, doing the interview with David Icke, and then Brian Harvey's studying this thing because it's got that guy on it. But it's all very coincidental, like, oh, they brought this guy out, and then... Well, open your eyes and see what whatever you want to see. Right? Just don't fucking think that anything anyone can say would make me change my mind on this lad. Not going to happen. Too much gone on. Like the attack on pie and all that. It's all very strange. I mean, can you imagine the real pressure, right? You've been involved with Bill Maloney, who's an undercover fed. And all the fucking hoods all, all around him. Yeah. Richard Murdoch. Biggest gangster on the planet and super, super wealthy. Right, you're attacking them types of people, right? And going on about building your dog shed in the back garden, like nothing's going on. Super chats, Bri. Super chats. So that guy on that, who's interviewing him, I'm. I'm scrolling down the suggested videos because that's all I've got the intelligence to do these days and so do you. Google fix for you and, and you flip down because it's very convenient. And it says, oh, people that watch Brian Harvey also. What's this guy? For? What's he telling me that for? Is anyone coming, is anyone coming up and saying... Uh, Oh, people that watch Sister, Sister C, or Chrissy JC also watch Crossman. Why is that happening for Brian? Hmm? Why? If it wouldn't happen for you, why is it happening for Brian? 
You only got 16,000 subs. It's not happening for Kit. So why is it happening for Brian? What is going on? Dog shit. Absolute dog shit. And you're watching that channel and all that, I'll be fucking... There's a script behind you, Brian Hardy. I'm sorry, pal. I know you'll be an, an, an innocent, well, not an innocent, but an imbecile in it all. I do understand that. And then you slip in too deep and you didn't even, because that's what it does, it just traps you and you slide down so there's no turning back. So it's best foot forward, but just don't expect me to not see through you. Because I can see right fucking through you. I don't give a fuck about you, but I can see through you. But, fair enough, you're a human being on Earth, and it doesn't even matter what I think about you, like, you know what I mean? You've got your right to speak, in my opinion, anyway. <clears throat> I still think you're a cunt. You know what I mean? I still think you're on the make, as well. Still think you're fucking grooming your ego as well. Right? There's a lot of negatives running around in you, Brian Hardy. To be quite honest. You're not alone. I'm just saying. Think you like the old folder? Don't blame you. It's nice, isn't it? You don't do it on the backs of the people by deceiving them that you're legitimate and you're a ropey cunt. So Donald Trump's just been caught out fiddling, uh, did a bit of a business deal that benefited is golfing his golf course in I think it's Scotland. <clears throat> so he's like they're saying, oh he's been fleecing the American taxpayers. Well, he's a businessman, isn't he? He can't fucking won't be able to help it, will he? You know what I mean? That's what they like. They're ruthless, aren't they? Yeah. And he's a, a, a billionaire one, so he'll be double ruthless, won't he? But I could just hear him in his conversation. To that fake wife that he's got. I don't even want to take this job, sweetheart. But they've got me by the fucking balls. There's nothing I can do. You know. And the the players, but you know. The script writers have to write the script. Uh What's he doing? <clears throat> Probably doing like all fucking presidents do. Just winging it. Apart from when you get told what to say, like, you'll get caught out and you've got a fucking <coughs> box on your feet, haven't you? Fucking 70 odd years old. He didn't want that job. Had to fucking take it. I reckon he was going bankrupt, don't they? Don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You do not know what's going on behind the scenes. So. Like Boris Johnson now. <laughs> He's there, isn't he? They do a Metro. Paper don't they? I just had a flick through because I don't buy sun star and all that. Any pipe don't buy them for the customers to be honest. All on the phones are it's bad, but it's good. And uh, he's there with a lot of coffers behind him, copying Donald Trump, <laughs> and one of them fainted. But he's just carried on. And like in the section that said, it's a bit fucking like look. I've got the boys in blue light. I'm going to come around and batter you with my crew. 
Which makes you a bit afraid that it makes you very afraid that Boris Johnson is just doing other fucking lemming. And what's really scary about all these things, if that was the case, it would be like Terence McKenna said, "There's no one running the show." He said, and that is far more fucking frightening. You know, it's a far better fucking world if you think that there's some fucking hidden genius and a network of people just there in the outcome of the future. But what if it's not fucking true? <laughs> no. No, you don't have to look at Ronald Reagan. Even fucking uh, Clinton. He was a balls all, wasn't he? There's a cracker where he's getting his makeup put on, like, and he's being filmed, and he's like a fucking robot mind controlled motherfucker, like, you know. Scary shit, really. When you think about mind control. And the levels that some people higher up, if you know what I mean, might be under. Fuck, you don't know, do you? You know, you get twats on the internet coming on like, and they say, I was a fucking this and I was that. And I said 99.9% of them are all talking shit. And it's easy to get loads of information to sit there and say, you know, I'm... You can reel it off all day, can't you? You know what I mean? You really can literally go into why the chem's trailing you and all these particles and all these reasons. And we're all guilty of it, like, but we should try to not do it as well because in Kip's wisdom speech, what you've got to remember is when they're taking you to these sort of further away fucking spaces of normality, um, whatever that is, and that's another one, isn't it? They're actually they're moving your brain on, aren't they? where they want it they've done well with the telly then they've give us this up and we say well maybe like you know we're the, we're the ones that are above the ones that watch the telly but the truth is most of this stuff on here is from them anyway isn't it so it's just they've just parked in another place if you know what I mean uh, where you think you're fucking special you know I watched this last night, it was funny. I watched a bit of that Andy Divine. Another one that just comes up on my feed, because I can't start typing anything in and look for anything original. I just have to see what Google gives me. I'm like, look at it, click on it. Usually go off the face of the clickbait title. Brian Harvey's name don't clickbait anymore, it's shit. It was always shit anyway, but it's double shit. So I don't know what's fucking going on there. I know I'm dog shit. But anyway, uh, he's got the, the, the three, there's this American guy and all he does is right, he just eats and 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 eats. And eats. Like they take it, well one of them's the main guy like, and he's a fucking right, psychopath like, and he's saying, right, anyway, what we want to do is, well, when we take over, like, we'll, we'll kick some of them to death, but some of them will just, you know what I mean. We'll be fair, but you know what I mean. We'll be fair, but we'll be brutal. <laughs> and you coppers, you want to kill Tony Blair. You, you, you know that's what you want to do. So, for fuck's sake. And I thought, well, he's part there, isn't he? Sprout, spouting on the internet and shit like that. And he's getting away with it. <laughs> uh. Why? 
You get like these dodgy channels and they'll have someone come on like and every week they'll come on and it's field calling out somebody, you know and all this shit. Oh, it's Professor somebody. Fuck me. It's taking information down fast, well. <clears throat> How much information does the world need? That's the other point. When you think genetically, you don't need to be so intelligent. You only need so much intelligence to do what is required biologically and evolutionarily for your body, isn't it? Just to reproduce. You know what I made? You know, build a shelter, catch a fucking sheep, cook it, fuck a couple of fucking birds, get them pregnant, feed the little bastards at the barn, try and fight off other people because they'll kill your kids. But apart from that, that's about as complicated as it gets, isn't it? This is why men are bigger than women. Physically, you know, generally. Obviously, I don't want you coming here where I I'm not saying that all men are bigger than all women. I'm not trying to fuck your head in. This thing come up on my list, obviously, because obviously, as I said before, I've not got the basic. Capacity to type in an original thought. I have to just, again, see what Google throws at me. And it had like a little video of the pyramids. And it's from some program in the 1980s. And uh, it showed it like from the bottom. And I thought, not only did they do that. Uh, but then they fucking rendered it. I thought, can you imagine fucking rendering that? With lime. Fucking stone. <laughs> <laughs> thought they weren't fucking lazy. It's a big problem, isn't it? The pyramids are a big problem. But evolutionarily, they're not. Because we don't, as again, understand even what 12,000 years is. It's not something that man's mind can really, truly claim to understand. You know, work out the generations and it'll still fuck your head up. So what can be achieved in 20,000 years? I'm not saying it wasn't done in a certain amount of time, but what I mean is that previous time to that, and then it causes you a hell of a lot of problems, doesn't it? Floating around hundred ton fucking slabs of stone and laying them perfectly on underneath. They've made even that all flat as well. <laughs> you fucking need that. Bedrock on bedrock. <laughs> Just fucking float it in. Just cut it perfectly and then just stick it on like. They're fucking very weird. So there is a missing chapter on one level or another. But you, you know what I mean? Obviously I've tried, everyone's tried. You can't work it out, can you? That's why you've got the story that we've got to teach little kids, you know what I mean? You know, Jesus was born 2,000 years ago. And, you know what I mean? Start of time. Stories that build a reality that's all built on fucking bullshit. But you 
you know, and then you get cunt selling it Queensland and to a lizard daughter just to top it off. You know, all this string theory, quantum physics, fucking far out stuff. But I don't know. I don't know, because as I say, I haven't got the capacity. It's like that slit fucking test. Quantum slit test. You know, yeah, they yeah, push that on the internet and push it to little kids, but like, there are people out there that are smarter than me at explaining why it's bullshit, you know what I mean? It's like when you say, is the, you know, the internet isn't wisdom. It is wisdom. If you are lucky enough to land on the right information, the problem is any question you ask, it just doesn't give you, you know what I mean? It doesn't give you one answer, does it? it fucking goes over there, then goes over there, because all other bits. I end up fucking being worse. Should have just stuck with the fact that a fat bloke comes down the chimney on Christmas Day, brings kids all over the world presents. Because no one likes to deny the kids any of that stuff, do they? Huh? Yeah. Because it's your welcome into the world of bullshit. That's what it is. Jehovah's Witnesses don't celebrate it. Do their kids end up being any more normal? I haven't said so, no. They're all a bit weird, aren't they, as well? And so, like, you end up in 22 and you're in the cell and you've murdered eight people. And when, like, they're going through, you like, mentally evaluating you, so, well, we never celebrated Christmas in our house. And they go, oh, you're joking. And then it end, like, the judge says, we're going to put you into a... A ten year sentence in a you know, a mental facility because your mum and dad denied you what all little children should be entitled to, and that is to be filled with bullshit about Christmas Day, people being born of virgins, fat men coming down the chimney and dead men rising. Saying they'll come back in a bit when it, it, they would have just said, I'm not going anywhere because we'll stay and sort this all out. <clears throat> what is it now? 20 past 12 campers. Better get the old bones in the old bed because. They're in graft tomorrow. So, whatever you do, do one with yourself.